so are you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about anyways? Um, stupid sibling stuff. He said I was soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I don't cry and blah, blah. Then it turned to a big argument as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is we've made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, then there must be some kind of soulless monster. You better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No. You better watch out. This ain't no monster y'all want to be messing with. Then there's fat and words missing. I hope to kiss tomorrow goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I've been having nightmares. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as they were before? They're different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worried about anything? Sometimes if I'm worried about something, I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense. Everything is fine. Everything should be good. Are you taking those meds? Uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too, and she says that the meds that she takes helps her a lot. I guess they do help. But they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread, I know it's real. Or at least really me. I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You better make sure to call me if you ever need any help or if you just want to talk. You know I'm here for you, right? I oh, know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but you know you don't need to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. It's a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just you and me out there and no one else is around. How have you been? I've been okay, you know, but I'm starting to feel better now that I'm out of the city. I thought you liked the city. I love the city. It's great and there's always cool things happening. I just don't love living there. It's so noisy and so crowded. You just can't hear yourself think sometimes. I can see that. The longer you spend there, you start feeling like you're losing your connection to nature. It's weird as it sounds, I've been missing up about. I miss the fresh air and the nature. I miss being able to see the stars at night and being able to hang out with all my friends. We've missed you too, Ash. Although I don't think we'll be seeing stars tonight. Oh, this storm rolling in. I noticed that. It looks like we're going to get rained on. What about art school? I think I'm going to take some time off the school. I'll be feeling pretty burned out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just got to figure some things out first. I might take a couple of classes at the community college while I can get my shit together. That'd be cool. Larry's also thinking about going. He mentioned that. I'm surprised. I didn't think he'll go the college route. Me neither. It's a bit like old times. The whole group back in school. Are you happy? Happy what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a uh, hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. Happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I am feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. This constant feeling of discomfort, like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just want to scream at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on, I bet you feel better.